I keep a nature blog specifically relating to our garden at home. So January the 1st, it's always good to see how many birds you can spot on the first day. However, it's Arsenal versus Manchester City on television at lunchtime. So what do you do? I'll tell you what. There's my granddaughter there, Naya. You put the television on. You get your binoculars and you sit there and you kill two birds with one stone. It's half time in London, one nil to Arsenal at the break. The birds have been extremely busy out there. It's like Piccadilly Circus. I've seen 11 species so far, including long-tailed tits. We had a flock of those in. Stock dove, love to see those. In my old house, never saw stock doves even in flight. So to have them in the garden like we do now on a regular basis, that's fantastic. Goldfinch and male chaffinch as well, in with the 11 that I've seen so far. I'm looking forward to the second half and of course, what's going on out there in the garden as well. Multitasking at its best. The football is over and it ended 2-1 to Manchester City. There was an equaliser from the penalty spot. It went to VAR, but there was a leg and a, an arm involved. So I think definitely the right decision there. And then Arsenal were reduced to 10 men, courtesy of two yellow cards. The first one was for scuffing the penalty spot. That's a lack of discipline, isn't it, in a situation like that. And Manchester City scored a late winner to secure the points on New Year's Day. The bird watching, it was interesting flitting, as it were, between the two. Well, I saw a juvenile wood pigeon, which is a very early start, of course, for young birds, but we've had such a mild autumn and winter so far, they've carried on breeding. And you do see young wood pigeons right the way throughout the year when the conditions are favorable. Three new species though, a male house sparrow, a female great spotted woodpecker and a collared dove. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, go into the comments box, check out my website and there will be a specific page for my blog entries in 2022, as well as the ones there from 2021. That's the Garden Nature blog.